teachers, okay? Thank you, that was where I was going. <laughs> so, I'm going to just give you a, um, a survey that was done. So basically, you guys are familiar with the American Congress, right? So the Congress is built into the Senate and House of Rep. It's basically like our parliament, to make it very simple, right? In, part, in Congress, basically 80% of the Congress is filled by baby boomers. Only 20% by the millennials. And 0% of Generation Z. So that's America. Let's think about Malaysia right now. Are you guys aware of what is happening in the Malaysian parliament? People who are born slightly younger are scrutinized and have are discriminated at a point in parliament because they are young. So that means they are inadequate in a way. You guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so you think, in your opinion, does age matter when it comes to politics? And do you think that the younger generation should be given more opportunities to join parliament and be given a voice in politics? Yes, but there are some truths to like them having more experience, but that opportunity should be given. Yeah, definitely, right? So yeah, that's one of the studies that's done. So now we're going to go into education. When this actually shocked me the most, actually, apparently out of all the generations, baby boomers are the ones that have the are the most educated. Apparently, and I was very shocked by that because I assumed it would be millennials or Generation Z, but apparently it's the 88% of them um, completed high school and 28% completed bachelors. But when you think about that, you think almost everyone in Generation Z has a degree and all that. But apparently, this is where the interesting statistics come in, 70% of, when it is a comparative thing, I guess, 70% of Generation Z dropped out of high school when compared to other generations. And that is so interesting. 70. 70. It's a comparative, not like the whole thing when you compare the generation. 70%. And it was shocking, but yeah, daunting as well, in a way. So, education wise, I would say linguistics, baby boomers have it way over us. English wise, like Adrian mentioned that they, in Malaysia at the time they were colonized by the British, but it was also that. But at the same time, we have to take into consideration that most of the language, the words that we are using in our daily life comes from words that they created, in a way. Isn't that mind blowing? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So yeah, the age cohorts is a big role, it's a big thing that plays in how well you speak linguistics, like lexicon, abilities, and all that. So I would say that that generation tends to speak more pristine English. And for us, our generation, we tend to be more apparent and we don't really, we tend to follow the standardized languages. So like, mostly we communicate in Manglish, you know, because it's more comforting for us, right? I would say that's one of the biggest difference between education-wise, and I think that concludes our presentation.
Do you guys know um, like what are the baby boomers' reaction towards current generation? Yeah, like. <laughs>
education and job opportunities. Job training. Yeah, yeah. If we compare statistically, I think there is, as you say, this is a great, great question, by the way. Yeah, maybe as you said, like they have no experience in, like, because they are been for a long time, and the moment they finish their degree, the job that they are seeing at the moment is new. So, like, they want to try it out different different kind of jobs so in that way and at that time I feel like it's I don't speak controversial but say anyway uh, I think men work more get more education at that time period of time women are more like go for swimming classes or cooking classes things like they that they didn't have the opportunity <laughs> exactly so like uh, maybe that's how like they, they try more stuff because it's it's more the one gender I guess even though like now it's improving, but at that time, I feel like the ratio was on a large proportion. So, uh, as you said, the job opportunities were more. So maybe that's why that there is maybe a slight relation between the job disparity and the educational level at, during the working period compared to now. Yeah, I think gender equality is more popular now. Yeah. compared to last time. <coughs>